Hello guys, hope you're well. Today we're back with a little bit different uh, tutorial. I think I, I say this every video because yeah, we kind of end up doing something different every time. And this time I was looking at these really nice icons and uh, you, you get to see this uh, distress look uh, applied to them. And uh, in some games like, like Tomb Raider, Horizon, um, there's a bunch of games who's doing this kind of style and you know it's absolutely fine and it looks really good in my opinion and I was thinking to do something similar and um, I find this method which normally works with every icons it, it does work with text or any other sorts of objects you, you would create but I like to use icons um, because you know um, it's very important to make these icons scalable so so that's goal number one. And as you can see, these icons here, they are a vector shape basically. So you could you can you could um you could just manipulate them if you want to, just select one side. You can yeah, so you can see you can scale them up and um they will still re re um, um keep the original grunge texture. So how do you do that? Um, you can do this with one button and that button has to be the action button. And I'm gonna show you how to record a very simple and fast um, action. And then you can change the action to achieve uh, different looks as well. I use this like all the time and uh, uh, it's so easy to manipulate it. And I'll show you uh, how many different kind of styles you can, you can bring out from one, one design. Okay, but let's get started. Let's have a look. So these are my original icons here. Uh, these are from The Last of Us Part 2. <clears throat> and these are shapes I built in Photoshop. So the idea here uh, is to achieve this look. So let's create the action. So you'll have to go here to action or um, windows, uh, open your action panel like that. And then it will open these actions up. And then the first thing you do, press on the plus and then just put in here I don't know, um, grunge or distress affix. There we go. So as you can see, it will turn on the record and anything you do from now on, it will be recorded. So let's just work on these original ones. Okay. Um, so the first thing I like to do is just rename my, uh, my layer. So it's going to be called design. There we go. Double click to open the layer styles and what I like to do is use patterns. So I will use my first pattern I'm, I'm going to use and then I'll show you how to do them, of course, is going to be a normal and cloud. There we go. So this cloud is fine and you can go to between 80 to 70 percent opacity. Angle doesn't really matter. Scale, I use 90, but we can change it. And depending on how you change this, it will change the overall look of the uh, icon. And one more thing is the inner glow. And this has to be normal. Uh, well, actually, I'll go multiply and then change the color to not entirely black, but something close like that. There we go. And we can also change the size. Let's go on average 10 choke and 4% size, range 50. So this is fine. The next thing you'll need to do is basically just uh, drag this down into the group button. It'll create a group for you and name the group to design. All right, once that's done, we're going to apply double click on the design layer and it'll bring up the layer styles and then you can add another pattern. And this pattern has to be hard mix. But before we do that, I just want to change it to um, this fabric I made. Also, I'm going to show you how to do this and, and include the PSD file so you can pick it apart. No problem at all. So this here again, 70, 80%, depending on uh, how uh, sharp you want to make the design. If you go up to 100%, it's going to be really sharp, black and white in a way. And then if you go down to 80%, it will have a bit of gray as well. So it's going to be softer. So let's go with 80 at the moment, scale 20%. That works for this size of uh, the icon. And 
you can see you, you see the pattern over, uh, uh, already here showing but if you go to blend mode hard mix then that's when you get this really cool distressed look at the moment it's black and white but what we need to do is place this again to another folder call this design because we don't have that enough so once that's done you can change the blend mode to screen and then it'll become basically uh, uh, see-through okay so you can you can so basically if you go and change the pattern here and start um, changing the scale or the opacity of the uh, cloud pattern you'll see how it's it reveal or hide more details you know from the uh, from the original design uh, so i think i think 80 works well with this one yeah i think i think that's pretty much it for the for the action so i'm gonna stop it and now we have got a grunge action which we can apply to the next icon so you can just press uh, just select the next icon and then all you have to do just play this uh, action and it will automatically do the same steps you we made so the pattern there the inner glow there pattern here put it in the group it's all done and if you want to change the color of the uh, background you can see it's still see-through so it's all good and then the last one as well depending on the let me just do that depending on the actual icon you can go and change the settings you know you can just go into the folder uh, you need to find basically a pattern overlay layer style where we apply the hard mix and then just be playing with the hard mix i'll, I'll pull it up to 100 percent and it's basically well uh, i'm not on the yeah of course i'm not on the right layer sorry uh, this is the one here so if you, if I increase it to 100%, you see it becomes super sharp, you see? And then if you go down to 80, it's, it's different. Okay, so uh, the cool thing about this, that these patterns can be anything, anything you created before or, or create in the future. Or I, I have got so many of them and, and I love them, love them all. This half tone, for example, which is absolutely amazing. You press half tone and it'll turn it into half tone for you. And with the half tone, I think it's better to change the scale to 10. Um, it just looks a bit different. I think it's really cool. Or you can go and change it to something else. I think I have, the foil is really nice as well. It got this broken kind of crack look. This is reminds me to uh, Horizon uh, Zero Dawn. I think they, they were using something similar to, like this and and obviously you can move around this pattern and uh change the hardness to something softer you know like that and uh maybe go up a little bit with scaling but that's pretty cool i think and um, there's a couple of more example you can you can do i got these engraved kind of patterns which is pretty nice i think but the hard mix needs to be rolled up a bit more like that there we go and also the size needs to be about 20 percent even more than that so it needs a bit of adjustment but 50 and then got this kind of very interesting look or just this uh, scan line kind of look so it's depending on what pattern you use you achieve different looks and, and i think it's really nice and the good thing about this that you can just uh, increase the size and and um, um, you have to basically increase the effect as well so I have to scale them up uh, I'll show you what I mean so let's take this uh, this design here right and then if I would increase the size just something 150 for example like that uh, it still look good but I would definitely go into the F exponent here just right click scale effects and then go up to 150 as well and then you'll have to do this on the other layer too so because there's two layer uh, including um, layer effects so 150 and then now it's 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 the same look basically so that's what i'm saying it's scalable you can manipulate it the way you want it what i wanted to show you guys basically the the patterns how i do that so for example i have got this um, um 
fabric pattern here or not pattern it's just a huge image it's uh yeah uh so what i would do normally because i want the black and white where i used to pop a bit more i would first of all desaturate the image there we go and then i would uh, add a level adjustment layer just to bring in the black bring in the white something like that so i would have something really nice and sharp yeah yeah like that yeah i think this is something it, i had way too more white to be honest so i was probably playing like that yeah something like this let me see yeah like that and then once you're happy with the result you can just go into uh, of course we have to select both layers and just kind of like merge layers so you'll have one single layer and then you go define pattern and then you'll name it uh fabric for example you know i'm not going to say it because i already have that the cloud is again is super simple you just have um, a decent size of uh artboard like this is 1024 by 2024 and then you'll just create a new layer and then render some clouds on the layer and that's pretty much it uh, i don't like to touch the levels on this one i'll just literally go and just save define pattern and that's how i created that one but there's so many other ways you can do it and, and it's super flexible and i think it's really cool it's really nice and it, it does uh, work with a bunch of um, uh, action games, for example. Those are absolutely amazing, I think, for that, that kind of uh, design. And as you see, it's it's really uh, simple to make. And and then you can just literally go and... Oh, let's just try a text, for example. I'm just going to go and just use a text. Like that. Just want to show you that it works on that as well. Let me just bring it out from this folder. And then you just apply the grunge effects action, what you did before. And then there you go. It's really awesome. And this is something you can, um, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a live font, so you can, you can change the, oops, uh, not much we can see, not here. So you can see like, yeah, this is really awesome okay so this is uh, one tip i wanted to share with you guys today uh next project is going to be probably a longer uh ui design and uh, i have a couple of things in my mind but um uh, really wanted to share this this tip with you guys and uh, hope you like it if you do please hit the like button that helps our video to rank a bit higher and it's it's really important for the channel and i appreciate it always um thank you for watching and see you next time bye